Hey guys, what's up? It's your boy Mr. Lex once again, and we are back again for another vibrations here on BRV PTV. Be real, be positive. This time, guys, this segment would be a bit of a sad segment since there's so much sad vibes going on. First up, we have the funeral of the little girl in Portsmouth. She as well as her grandmother passed away in an accident that took place in Dominica in Portsmouth in the Portsmouth area And that was as a result of the mother was driving um, She was trying to overtake and apparently in the blind spot was not able to see that another vehicle was coming Her mother however, the mother of the driver succumbed to her injuries later on in the hospital Which brings me to the next question Why? isn't our hospitals up to par. Over the weekend, there was a funeral of that little girl as well as her grandmother. And just seeing that was very sad to me. The realization that you could go anytime, anywhere, anyhow, uh, you know, is really shocking. Sympathies goes out to the family and friends and indeed the mother as well, who most likely is really feeling the blunt because she is the one in the vehicle. She most likely is blaming herself for that. And of course, it's her mother and her daughter who passed away. Now in other news guys, there was an accident, a bike accident in Granby. This is a picture of it right there. And this individual pretty much plunged a good amount of feet to the bottom. Of course, people were there to rush to try to help him out. He was brought to the PMH and guess what happened guys? He succumbed to his injuries. What is really going on in our hospitals today, guys? It seems like every time somebody enters the hospital, if there is some kind of accident or injury of that sort, they will definitely, most likely, 95% of the time, end up leaving this planet. I know a few months ago, and even previously in the previous year, there were a number of nurses that actually left the PMH hospital. They were basically saying that they felt that they were being ill-treated and they were not working in best suitable conditions. Also, some persons also gave the ideology that they were not being paid enough because they were giving persons more and more work to do because more nurses were retiring and all these things. So I think that might have a factor to play, but we live in a modern century and yet still our hospitals. The hospital is one of the foundation that a country should have, knowing that persons tend to get sick. Uh, yes, we live in the nature island of the Caribbean. Yes, there's herbs and stuff. But when accidents do happen, herbs can heal you. You have to go to the hospital, make operations and those sort and, and those sort of sorts of things. Things just happen just like that. And you just leave Earth. Nobody questions what happened. Let me tell you something now. Even in the United States, there will be a lot of suing going on, you know. And even one of my friends who ended up passing away because of the negligence of the hospital some years ago. I think three or three or four years ago, two years ago. I really think we need to step up the game here. Because in our hospitals, you cannot just have people dying like this. You go to the hospital to try to give you a fighting chance. But it's as if when you go to the hospital, most likely, most persons are thinking that person might not make it because they go to the hospital. It's not a good reflection at all. Anyways, considering accidents, uh, there was also an accident that took place in Forkoli yesterday. Seems to be involving what seems to be a bike and a truck. Nobody was injured in there, thank God for that. But we also gotta remember to be very, very careful. Now, more bad news, like I told you guys, this segment pretty much is a whole lot of bad news and uh, we just have to pray. But in Barbados, CBC is reporting that there was a shooting going on or had been done in St. Lucie. Suggests that a man in his 40s was shot in Crab Hill at about 7.30 this morning. Of course, I got the, the picture right there, but I seriously have to blur it out because it's not, you know, social media friendly. And all these things seems to be happening in the Caribbean, not just in, you know, particular parts, but, you know, all over the place. And I think it's our responsibility for us to be mindful of what is going on. Try to protect our neighbors, try to protect our friends, all those we care about. Not just those we care about, but also those, you know, who we see as our neighbor, our brother's keeper, you know, so to speak. And try to help out, man. I hope... They find who that did this. This is not acceptable at all in the Caribbean, especially the little islands where there's not much people. Reference to, you know, the rest of the world, there's not much people in the Caribbean. One person going is one too many. More bad news again, like I said, talking about the earthquake that took place in Indonesia, the death toll has been rising. The earthquake hit on Friday and caused a tsunami. 
resulting in 350,000 residents of the Indonesian city of Palu, or Palu going the fifth day without food and clean water to drink. Of course, the magnitude of the earthquake was 7.5 and the official death toll was placed at 1,234 as of today, Tuesday. This is in accordance to the Indonesian National Disaster Agency. But, however, BBC is also reporting a death toll of 1,350, which is too much people going because of Mother Nature. I said in the previous video, I think that they could handle it a bit better, but as clear as daylight, I guess I was wrong. And I really don't know what to say about this whole thing. I just try to cast prayers, you know, where it's needed. So please pray for Indonesia. Please pray for the whole world, man. All kind of stuff is going on in the world, especially when Mother Nature is retaliating against human beings. I think that is essential in our everyday life. Praying, you know, pray without ceasing, hope for the best, even though these things have happened, but you know, pray, minimize it, you know, that's, that's all I can think of. Now, as we're hearing in Indonesia again, they are now experiencing a volcanic eruption. There's lava flowing down and St. Lucia News Online is bringing that news of the Express UK and saying that a volcano which is known as the son of Krakatoa. This sounds like something I heard in Pirates of the Caribbean, the Kraken, which, you know, most likely is something very, 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 very dangerous. Of course, it's a volcano. And they're saying it's spewing lava into the air as the region is hit by another natural disaster. Lava is also running down the volcano's slopes as the region reels from the devastation left by the earthquake, the magnitude 7.5 earthquake that hit it about two days ago. Of course, we had that earthquake hitting Indonesia. Then we had the tsunami. And if you think that was over with the amount of people that passed away, then you're also hearing that they are experiencing volcanic, the turmoils of volcanic eruption. So where does it really end? Where does it really end? All kind of things are going on across the world, even in Grenada. Grenada today got a yellow alert after a series of earthquakes ranging 3.5, 3.2, 3.5 over the course of a few days, just after the earthquake hit by Dominic and Martinic. And of course, they have been placed on the yellow alert. They say high levels of seismic activities reported at the Kikem Jenny volcano. So where does it really end though, guys? Where does it really end? Of course, we're gonna be keeping an eye on that. If anything has to happen, we will definitely be bringing you this on BRBP TV so keep it locked on that vibrations and of course this is a word from Domlek I will be posting the, the the photo right there for you guys to check out so this is definitely word from Domlek those of you watching from Dominica this is a word right there But I don't know guys, I've been searching for some, some good news and stuff and, and, and the only thing that I can think of with this is this. This is something that I've never seen in Dominica before. It's a nice vehicle, I would like to ride in it and yeah. Boy, come out under that, boy. Come out under that. Look at me right there. Boy. That one pull out.
Anyways guys, this is all I have for today on BRBP TV. If you enjoyed this video, please, well not enjoy this video, but if you understand and get the information of what I'm saying, give this video a thumbs up. I would appreciate that. Definitely subscribe and turn on the post notifications for to get all the videos as they come through. Of course, don't forget to definitely check out Mr. Lick's vlogs as well for you to get a little more insight in who I am, you know, where I've been and what I've been doing and so forth and so forth. So guys, it's about Mr. Lick's on BRBP TV guys. As we always say, be real, be positive. Thank <laughs> you.